Uh, welcome back. So, I uh, got the Elk Valley Brewing French Toast Dreaming Imperial Stout with maple, cinnamon, and vanilla. Uh, it's 12.6%. I've had this for coming up on a couple of months. Uh, I got a four pack of it, drank one fresh. It's way too sweet for me, way too sweet for me, honestly. And uh, it was just taking over any other notes that was listed on here, even including the cinnamon. It was just ridiculous sweet. Uh, but that's just the way it goes with cans. Uh, typically on tap, you're going to get a little lighter flavor. Cans for me, way to go. That's why I don't waste a lot of time going to certain breweries and having beers sitting there. There's a couple of them in Oklahoma City. I won't mention their names, but they're just shit. And I don't, I don't toy with them anymore. However, a place like Vanessa House, Elk Valley, Prairie, of course. Uh, Angry Scotsman are some of the main places I go to to sit down and have a beer. Uh, Stone Cloud as well. I don't hit Stone Cloud as often as I like, though. Got one of these going out to Todd. Show you the can. I keep seeing pictures of their um, banana pancakes, and you had to be a trophy, cl trophy club member to get that. Unfortunately, I'm, I wasn't a member, and I didn't get it. I heard it was amazing. I heard it was uh, straight up banana pancakes. Kind of let down, kind of sad. So I'd like to get a bottle. Maybe, maybe you can make it again and release it to the Public, please. I do have a barrel aged, whiskey barrel aged uh, mashy, I think. It was the, one of the trophy club beers I got from uh, Will on his giveaway. Probably review that pretty soon. Oh man, oh yeah. I'm getting that maple and the cinnamon. Vanilla is always a hard thing for me to get. Uh, with vanilla, it's just like sweet. I don't know. I did get this out of the fridge about 15 minutes ago, ran it under straight hot tap water for about 30 seconds. And honestly, I think this is the perfect temp. Sitting probably about 50, between 53 to 58, something around there. Mm. Cheers. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm glad I waited a couple months to review this. That sweetness really toned down. God. Mm. Cinnamon's still a little lacking for me. Maple's there. It's not nearly as sweet. Uh, it's got a nice mouthfeel to it. A little, uh, little roasty. It's almost like a, a semi-burnt pancake. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. John, did it again, brother. Uh, you man, you really got to kick out that uh, that peanut butter, peanut brittle stout. Best on point flavor stout I've ever had in my life. Damn. Yeah. If, if the cinnamon was a little stronger, I'd be happy. Maybe, I'm, I'm sure you got some of this in a barrel. Don't bullshit me. I'm sure you do. And if you do, if, man, just put some more cinnamon sticks in it. Bring those cinnamon notes out just a little bit more. It's not boozy, but it's got that mouth kind of tingling feel going on. Slight numbing. But that maple... God, and it's it's like a semi burnt pancake. Not like you. It's it's not like you threw it straight on the flame. It's like you know, before the first initial flip of the first pancake you make is always the the darkest one. Then you got to realize you got to tone that fire down a little bit. That's what it tastes like. That was some maple syrup and a little tinge of cinnamon. 
mm -mm. honestly for the maple syrup flavor it's not nearly as sweet as what it could be so if you're drinking this thing now it's in its prime right now a couple months after being canned i don't know what the date was i got this one it was at least two months ago at least but damn good i got one more still in the fridge uh, and then like i said i got one more to go to todd so i'm enjoying the hell out of it i'm gonna say nine and a half um just because the cinnamon notes are a little lacking for me uh but those maple notes are on point uh, vanilla is always hard to get like i said but this would be great to uh go with any sort of uh dessert or be great to go with a chair be great to go with a cup holder in your 1993 f-150 you know it doesn't matter what you're doing crack you one open and have your breakfast all right we'll be seeing you